it was August of 97. I, I don't know why I was in the house for the evening news that day, but I was. Normally, I was out working until after dark. You know, uh, and I had fixed myself a plate of spaghetti and came walking out of the kitchen into the living room to watch the evening news when the reporter on the TV screen said that ATSDR had released their public health assessment for the the Superfund site known as Camp Lejeune uh, this week. And they, the chemicals that were found in the, in the drinking water, uh, they wanted to study the children that had been born. Uh, they erroneously used the dates of 1968 through 1985 at that time. But they wanted to look at those children for birth defects and childhood cancer, primarily leukemia. I dropped my damn plate of spaghetti on the living room floor. I mean, most people don't realize when you have a child that's diagnosed with a long-term catastrophic illness, uh, after the shock of the diagnosis wears off, the first thing that pops into your mind, and I, I've met all sorts of couples and parents of kids uh, throughout Janie's illness and the two different university medical centers that we were at with her. And without exception, the first thing that pops into your mind after your shock wears off is why. And unfortunately, that's a question that very few people ever get an answer to. But when I heard that report on the TV about the water contamination and the periods of time that it took place. It was like God opened the sky and said, Jerry, here's a glimmer of hope that you'll get an answer to that nagging question. 